Can the Bengals get their first win of the 2022 season on Sunday against the New York Jets? Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. And that's the question. Will the Bengals get their first win of the season against the Jets? They're 0-2 back-to-back losses by a field goal in the final seconds. We know it. It's been a whole lot of ugly, a whole lot of ugly. And quite frankly, you're probably sick of us talking about it. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to give our keys to a potential Bengals victory on Sunday, and then you'll get my prediction. And the first key is something Zach Taylor's talked about all week. It is something that Joe Burrow has mentioned. And it matters, especially when you're going against a team that's young on the road. And the Bengals are favored in this matchup. If you look at my bookie, by the way, promo code Bengals Talk on my bookie, that's the way to go. They're favored, which means you go in there and you get out to an early lead, and it's going to make it much, much tougher for this young team, this young Jets team, to have the confidence to come back. Now, people will say, well, they came back last week, 13 points, 13 point deficit, first team, whatever. It was, it was fluky. It's fluky. First time in a long time, not ever. Very fluky to do that and come back against the Browns. And look, you still have to finish, of course, which the Browns didn't do in week two. But getting off to a fast start, I think, is, is key number one. Can this offense score not a first half touchdown because they haven't scored any first half touchdowns? How about a touchdown in the first quarter? How about an opening drive touchdown? And so it's going to be really interesting to see how this Bengals offense plays, especially if the Jets go to that too high safety look, which the Steelers used, the Cowboys used, slowed down the Bengals in weeks one and two on offense. Will that happen again this week? The good news, the Bengals will have, are expecting to have at least Lyle Collins at right tackle. He's missed practice all week, was out there on Friday, did stretch, but didn't take part in individual drills. But Zach Taylor says they're optimistic about him. They wanted to give him as much rest as possible to get his back as close to whatever 100% is as possible, right? So I expect Lyle Collins to play. I don't expect Jermaine Pratt to play. Pratt dealing with a knee issue. He was a limited participant on Thursday. It felt like he was trending in the right direction. Doesn't seem like he's going to be able to suit up this week. So if he can't, which, again, is expected, Akeem Davis-Gaither will slide in there. Marcus Bailey will get an increased role on defense. And obviously Logan Wilson will have his normal role at the linebacker spot. But quick starts, number one, obviously the offense scoring in the first half, scoring in the first quarter, maybe the first drive, that would be a big boost, especially to an offense that, that hasn't done that. But can they beat the two high looks? Robert Salah does not run, uh, or Robert Salah, I always get it wrong. Robert Salah does not run a bunch of two high normally. It's like 16% of the time or something. I think Jake Lisko looked it up on Locked on Bengals, my co-host there in so if it's 16% of the time, does that bump up? Do they do it early and see if it works? And if not, then they go to their bread and butter. And that's the thing. I look at this matchup. The Bengals are probably going to have to throw the ball. They're probably going to have to keep Joe Burrow upright. Because you look at the interior of that Jets D-line, that's their strength. And so this idea of run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, it sounds good. But they might not be able to pound the ball against that interior Jets defensive line as much as they would want to. So throwing the ball could certainly... Um, be on tap for Sunday's matchup. On defense, it's simple, and they haven't done this. And I talked with Mike Hilton, and we posted that video earlier today, one-on-one, -on -one, and you got to force turnovers. you got to get to the quarterback. Make Joe Flacco uncomfortable. You can't let Joe Flacco, at 37, 38 years old, stand back there in the pocket like the statue he is at this stage of his career, and he's never been that mobile, and just – Oh, there's Garrett Wilson. Oh, I'm going to throw this one deep to Elijah Moore. Oh, we got Corey Davis streaking down the sidelines. Like, they have good skill players. Brees Hall, Michael Carter, all guys that have been on your fantasy radar at one point or another. Obviously, Ohioans are very familiar with Garrett Wilson from his Ohio State days. This Bengals defense needs to get pressure on Flacco, make him uncomfortable. Of course, they're capable of guarding those guys. They're capable of stopping the run or slowing the run down. But it's going to make it much, much easier if they do it by sacking Flacco, making him uncomfortable, make him make some mistakes and take advantage of those mistakes to set the offense up. Because the Bengals just haven't done that. It's been a really odd start to the season. And so the Bengals, they have their shot now. 
to right the ship and to get things moving in the right direction. And this is as much of a must win as, as can be uh, as far as a week three contest is considered i mean you're zero and two you drop to zero and three you have like a two percent chance to make the playoffs historically you drop to zero and three against three of the worst quarterbacks you're going to face all season on paper you can't do that backup quarterback for most of his career well honestly could be a backup soon even though mike tomlin doesn't want to uh bench mitch trubisky to me he should, he'd be a backup if i was in pittsburgh right now right you lost to him a bad steelers team you lost to uh, a guy in Cooper Rush who is clearly a, a backup and is going to be a lifetime backup. And then this week you have Joe Flacco, who, yeah, he did win the Super Bowl when Joe Burrow was 15. It's been a long, long time since Joe Flacco was the Joe Flacco that won the Super Bowl. So they got to get it done. It is a must win. And I'm going to give you my prediction coming up in just one second. But first, a word from my bookie because week three is here and my bookie has everything you're looking for to bet on the NFL this week. Whether you want to wager on Packers, Buccaneers, maybe you think Burrow is going to go off and you think that the Bengals, well, they're going to cover that spread. You could wager on that and so much more. Maybe you want to parlay a couple games. They have so many options at MyBookie. I've used them. I've had success. You should check them out right now. So go to MyBookie.ag. Use promo code Bengals Talk, and you're going to get a double deposit match. That's it. Promo code Bengals Talk, double deposit match. You want to deposit 100 bucks, they're going to match it. You want to deposit 250 bucks, they're going to match it. So start making money today, maybe on the Bengals, maybe against the Bengals, whatever it is. Go to my bookie and use promo code Bengals Talk. The Bengals have made me look silly with my predictions over the past couple of weeks. I'm 0 and 2. I picked the Bengals to beat Pittsburgh. I picked the Bengals to also beat the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm picking the Bengals to beat the Jets. I am. And I was a little more unsure of myself midweek about this one. But they're talented. And I think that they have the better quarterback. And I think that they have enough talent in the trenches to improve there. And I think the defense can force turnovers. And I think that these weapons are going to get unleashed and unlocked at some point. And I think we'll see some of that on Sunday. Give me the Bengals 27 to 20. It's going to be maybe closer than some anticipate. But to me, they make one or two more plays than the Jets. Burrow makes a couple more plays than Flacco, and they get it done, and they at least ease the concerns a little bit and pick up their first win of the season. If they don't get it done and they lose to the Jets, I might not pick the Bengals the rest of the season. So we'll see because there's no way you should go 0-3 to the Steelers, Cowboys, and Jets. You shouldn't. And I like the Jets roster. I do. But the Bengals, they should win this game. I'm picking them 27-20. to for more, make sure you check out allbengals.com. We will be in New Jersey covering the game at MetLife Stadium, so make sure you subscribe, ring the bell. We're going to have the latest news before the game, during the game, after the game, right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk, including post-game interviews and anything and everything in between. So win, lose, draw, CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk is here for you. For our channel coordinator, Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now at Paycor Stadium where the Bengals just two days away from playing the Jets in hopes of getting their first win. Thank you so much for watching right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.